movement's great, agility is great. 13, 14, breathe. Conditioning is amazing, power is unbelievable. Ice, ice. That was the best we've seen him yet. This could be a rough night. Mike Tyson, at 58, looks ready to turn back the clock. In a recent training video shared on social media, one of his coaches praised his remarkable condition as he prepares to face Jake Paul, who is 31 years younger. Beating former UFC world champions like Tyson. While excitement builds, Joe Rogan voiced concerns about Tyson's health and well-being, noting the risks of training with such intensity at 58. Tyson's history of injuries and the wear and tear from decades in combat sports add to the danger. Despite this, Tyson has emphasized that boxing is more than just a sport for him. It's part of his identity. However, this deep drive can sometimes push athletes beyond their physical limits. The highly anticipated clash between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has generated major buzz among fans and analysts. While many are backing Paul, UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier has issued a stern warning. Iron Mike could be the force that halts Paul's meteoric rise in dramatic fashion. Excitement continues to build for the showdown between the legendary fighter and the social media star turned boxer. Set to take place on November 15th at at t Stadium in Arlington, Texas. If Paul wins, Tyson's legacy remains intact, but a victory for Tyson could pose serious challenges for Paul's future in boxing. On a recent episode of the Funky and the Champ podcast, Joe Rogan remarked that even at 58, Iron Mike still has the power to send Paul's head to another dimension. UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier partially agreed, acknowledging that Tyson still shows flashes of his legendary power when hitting pads. However, Cormier also referenced Paul's fight against Mike Perry, who replaced Tyson in the postponed July bout. He noted that while Perry put pressure on Paul, making him uncomfortable, Paul ultimately showed he had a reserve tank to tap into thanks to being 28 years old and in his physical prime. Cormier expressed concern about the age gap, asking what if this fight turns into a 58-year-old man against a 28-year-old where Tyson may struggle to dig deep late into the fight. He argued that the situation is a lose-lose for Paul, explaining that if he beats up Tyson, many fans won't respect the victory because of Tyson's age. But if Tyson pulls off the win, it could damage Paul's rising career. Though Tyson's status as a boxing icon is undeniable, questions linger about his physical condition and ability to face an opponent nearly 30 years younger, especially two decades after his last professional fight. Tyson is no longer the powerhouse he once was, and a recent flare-up of a stomach ulcer postponed the originally scheduled July 20th bout. Despite this, Cormier warned that Paul has the most to lose. The former UFC heavyweight champion emphasized that if Paul underestimates Tyson, he could face a devastating defeat that would derail his boxing career. Daniel Cormier speculated about the potential outcomes of the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight, emphasizing that Tyson isn't financially dependent on the match. He predicted that if Tyson were to knock Paul out, it would be a monumental backfire for Paul's career, unlike anything seen before in the sport. Cormier stated, If Mike knocks him out, then it's over. Everything's done. Jake Paul with eight wins and one loss has built an impressive record, including four consecutive victories after his setback against Tommy Fury in 2023. However, a defeat to the 58-year-old Tyson could jeopardize the reputation Paul has worked hard to establish by facing tougher challengers, not just fellow influencers. If Tyson wins, Paul could find himself back at square one, uncertain of his ability to recover. Additionally, a former sparing partner of Tyson expressed doubts about the much-hyped fight suggesting it could resemble more of a glorified sparing session rather than a serious competition. Concerns also remain regarding Tyson's health, especially after a recent health scare that delayed the original fight date. The postponement of the Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul fight was due to a flare-up of an ulcer affecting the 58-year-old Tyson. Despite this setback, many still believe Tyson could defy the odds and pull off an unexpected victory against the rising star Paul. However, some like Joe Egan, a former sparing partner of Tyson, remained skeptical. Egan questioned whether Tyson would be willing to go all out, concerned that Mike might seriously injure the problem child. In an interview with TalkSport, 
Egan suggested that the upcoming match could resemble more of a glorified sparing session than a full-blown contest. He pointed out that during Tyson's 2020 exhibition match with Roy Jones Jr., Tyson floored Jones with a powerful body shot but pulled back to avoid seriously hurting him. Mike knew he could hurt Roy Jones. Anybody Mike hits is going to hurt or get knocked out, but he carried Roy Jones, Egan explained. Egan, who sparred with Tyson during his early days in Catskill, recalled that every punch Tyson threw back then was delivered with bad intentions. He praised Tyson for mellowing with age, yet remained cautious about how the fight with Jake Paul, who famously knocked out NBA player Nate Robinson, would unfold. Joe Egan, a former sparring partner of Mike Tyson, expressed confidence in Tyson's power. Even at 58 years old, Egan commended Jake Paul for stepping into the ring with Tyson, but didn't believe Mike would go full force on him, cautioning that if Tyson did, he could seriously hurt Paul. Despite Tyson losing some speed with age, Egan emphasized, Mike hasn't lost his power. Initially expected to be an exhibition match due to the 31-year age gap, the fight has been officially designated as a professional heavyweight contest by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, meaning knockouts are allowed. However, Egan, who trained alongside a young Tyson for two years at the famed Catskill Gym under the legendary Cus D'Amato, doesn't believe knockouts will be necessary. He predicted the fight would likely resemble an enhanced sparing session, much like Tyson's bout against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Joe Egan, a former sparring partner of Mike Tyson, shared a stern warning with Jake Paul ahead of his upcoming bout against the legendary boxer. Egan described the fight as a glorified sparing session, recalling how Tyson once hit Roy Jones Jr. with a body shot during their exhibition match that nearly floored him. Mike knew he could hurt Roy. Egan said, emphasizing that Tyson's power, even at 58, remains intact, though his speed has naturally declined with age. Egan advised Paul, a YouTuber turned boxer, to enjoy the occasion, stating, You got millions of YouTube fans watching, but don't try to turn it on. If you do, Mike Tyson will turn you off. While Paul vs. Tyson is officially a professional boxing match, there will be some key adjustments to the format. The fight is scheduled for eight rounds, with each round lasting only two minutes, compared to the usual three. Additionally, both fighters will wear 14-ounce gloves, which are significantly heavier than the standard 10-ounce gloves used in professional boxing. This alteration could impact the speed and power of the strikes, making the fight safer, yet still intense. Former WBO champion Joseph Parker also weighed in, highlighting the unusual format for this professional bout. World champion Joseph Parker recently shared his thoughts on the upcoming match between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson with Fight Hub. While excited about the event, Parker expressed concern over the considerable age gap, stating that watching a 58-year-old Tyson face a much younger opponent could be difficult. Parker praised Tyson's legendary status and past ferocity, but he emphasized that Jake Paul has the advantage of youth and is steadily improving with each fight. He speculated that if Tyson were to knock Paul out, it would highlight the longevity of punching power, though Parker questioned how much of that power Tyson still retains at his current age. While Tyson's short training clips have generated excitement, Parker pointed out that they don't reveal the full picture, leaving the potential outcome of the match uncertain. He raised doubts about Tyson's ability to withstand a full bout at his age, acknowledging the unpredictability surrounding the much-anticipated contest. Egan humorously added that Jake Paul has probably boxed as Mike Tyson a million times on Nintendo and Game Boy, but now he's going to face the real deal in the ring, marking a surreal moment in Paul's career.